I look tired. I haven't really been sleeping a lot lately. <laughs> when, when the roommate catches you vlogging. <laughs> Good morning, Huckleberries. Welcome to a very sloppy vlog. The reason I'm calling this a sloppy vlog is because I'm moving this weekend. It's Friday, it's Friday morning, and I leave Sunday morning. So I thought I would document my last weekend here on the big island, but I have a lot to do, and I have a lot of people that I wanna say goodbye to. I just figured I would try and document as much as I can. I don't know, no promises on it being good though. <laughs> so I'm starting my day off with a big cup of coffee. This is a very special cup of coffee because it came from my friend Kaimana, who I recently went paddle boarding with and he gave me some coffee and it's actually really, really good. The reason I wanted to bring it up is because I had an amazing and frightening experience that I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm just gonna read what he wrote about it on Facebook. And honestly, I wouldn't have even known any of this stuff if he had not been there, because he goes out on the water like every day. He's an expert. So we went out paddleboarding, and we got to see three medium-sized tiger sharks, one large humpback within 80 yards, a few more whales further away, several large fish balls, and a great white shark. The great white was displaying clear signs of being hungry and even moody, a bit aggressive. I just wanted to share that with you guys because uh, that's terrifying <laughs> and awesome. We saw some action going on and we assumed they were dolphins. So we, we went over to them. I stuck my face in the water and started calling to the dolphins because they really like the sound of human voices and singing. And even if you mimic dolphin calls, it can oftentimes bring them right to you. So I stick my face in the water because I want them to come up and they never came back up. So that's when we kind of figured out that those were tiger sharks. Uh, so that's crazy. The great white I didn't actually see, but the second he came by, Kaimana's demeanor definitely changed. He obviously didn't want anyone to panic, but we basically just stuck together, paddled back in. And yeah, the whales that we saw were beautiful, of course, pretty far away, but still exciting to see. So that was a really fun experience. I know that's not part of my last weekend here, but it just happened a couple days ago. So I'm gonna get this day going. We have an Airbnb coming today. So I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit of work, which is fine. I don't know what else is gonna happen. So I guess I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> But I love you. I miss you. Oh my god. Did you just sneeze? 
So I finished doing some house cleaning and now I need to start packing. I don't want to pack. There's not a single ounce of me that wants to pack right now. I don't want to pack. I don't want to pack at all. <laughs> Three hours later. I have very exciting news. <laughs> this is exciting for me. So I moved to Hawaii with my Vitamix. We are talking 11 entire pounds. I brought it in a duffel bag that I carried with my arms. Like it was ridiculous. It stopped performing as well just in the last couple of months. So I decided just today to call in and see if my Vitamix was still under warranty. I mean, it's like a $400 blender, you guys. And this is my baby, you know? I love her. I called in and basically I am going to have free shipping. I'm just gonna ship it away and then they are going to repair it and send it back to my parents' house. I can't have them send it to Hawaii because I don't know where I'm moving. I don't have an address yet. So that is the one major issue because I'll probably either have my parents hold on to it for me or I'll have to pay maybe $100 in shipping. It could be worth it, especially because it hasn't really been working, so I get to get it fixed. The main thing that I'm just really happy about is the fact that I have now saved myself 11 pounds of carrying and so much room in my bag. On that note, I'm really excited. I feel a little more reinvigorated now. It's like so many hours later, but I think I'm gonna start packing. I'm gonna put on some jams. I'm just gonna speed it up for you guys because we don't want to be here all day watching me pack. I don't want to be here all day watching me pack, but that's about to happen. So wish me luck. I don't want to. <laughs> I am mostly packed. I mean, I'm still here for all day tomorrow and then I leave on Sunday morning. So I'm just gonna call it quits. I basically got all of it done. I mean like 80, 90% of it done. I'm gonna be done. <sighs> I'm getting together with some of my friends. It's like a little goodbye, get together thing. I don't know how much I'll film, but maybe I'll show you guys a little bit. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. This is weird. Um, so I didn't really vlog today. It's my last full day on the island and it's about four o'clock right now. Didn't vlog, um, I just really wasn't in the mood. I went to the beach earlier with Sam and I hurt my neck really bad and it was a totally stupid thing I did, but I was diving down and I, <laughs> I honestly head butted the sand really hard and I jammed up my neck. So it hurts really bad. And Sweetri, my friend, she's a massage therapist, and I asked her if she could work on my neck for like a half hour or something, kind of like an emergency massage. So I had some time to kill before she is ready for me, and I decided to come here. And I, honestly, I can't think of a better place to be right now. This is the park that I used to walk to every single morning, every single morning, for the first six weeks of me being here, and I would practice yoga, over on the basketball court, and I would come here and call my family when I was homesick. I would come here and journal. I cried a lot here. <laughs> Moving to Hawaii was, I had never done anything like it. I've never lived in a rural setting. I've never just like moved my whole life so far away from everything I know. And this park was my sanctuary for, for the first six weeks that I lived on the island. So I haven't been back and I'm really happy to be here. I don't know, I feel kind of weird today. My party was really fun though, last night. 
didn't film at all, but I was in really good company. I'm really grateful to have met the amazing people that I've gotten to get to know out here. Yeah, it was good. I'm just ready to go, <laughs> you know? I'm in limbo. I don't have a job. I don't have any money. I don't have an apartment. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna make it up as I go. A lot of people think I'm completely stupid for doing it. And I might be. <laughs> but I'm really, really, really excited for this next chapter. I feel so ready. I'm just, I could not be more ready for it, to be honest. For those of you who have followed me throughout my move and throughout the last 11 months, over 11 months of me being out in Hawaii, thank you. I feel grateful to have had your guys' support. There's been a lot of ups and downs out here, so for the people who have stuck around, thank you. It really means a lot to me. I think I'm gonna just have a moment to myself here, and then I'm gonna go get a little massage. Thank you, Sawitri. And then I'm gonna go to Megan's house and she's making me dinner and we're gonna hot tub and it's gonna be very low key. I don't really wanna vlog today, so. Okay, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Come on. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the big day. It's Sunday morning, it's about 7.30 right now, and I'm taking the dogs on a short walk to our neighbor's house, and I'm gonna say bye to some neighbors and get in a little bit more quality time with the puppies before I have to say bye. I don't know, not feeling that sad, just really excited, really ready. Uh, saying goodbye to these pooches is like the worst part of the day, and I don't really, I'm not feeling that sad about it yet, so. We'll see. I don't know, this vlog is getting sloppier and sloppier, which I totally anticipated happening because I'm moving, <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna, I don't know, say my final goodbyes and we're gonna get out of here in about a half hour. Crazy. Kahului. I was supposed to have a 90 minute layover, but it turns out they've got room on a flight going out like right now. So I'm gonna be arriving into Honolulu early. I think I'm going to end this video here and just end one chapter and begin a new one via video, I guess you could say. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know this was a very sloppy video. Um, and the next one will probably be sloppy too, so. <laughs>